Well, hello everybody. I'm Matt. I'm the vicar here at St Paul's Church over by the Asda. Oh, what's that? Uh, somebody's coming. Uh, oh, wow. Fantastic news, everybody. Pee-wee is here. Hello, Pee-wee. Come and join us. Come on. Oh, hi, Pee-wee. Thank you so much for joining us. How's life? Duh. Oh, it's not great. I've just come out of ten days isolation. I was stuck in my room the whole time. It was so boring. I was bored, bored, bored. It felt like it was going on forever and ever. I hated it. Oh, I'm so sorry, Pee-wee. Were you very ill? Oh, no, I felt fine. I felt fine. Well, that's good. I'm so pleased you weren't very ill, because some people get very ill with COVID, don't they? Matt, what are we thinking about today? Today, we are thinking about hope. What's hope? Hope is that feeling that something really good is going to happen. You know, sometimes people use the word hope to describe something they would like to happen that's probably not going to happen. For example, I might say, I hope West Ham United will win the league this year. But we all know that's not going to happen, is it? Is it? And I might say, I hope I win the lottery this week. But it is very, 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 very unlikely to happen. That's right, Pee-wee. Sometimes the word hope just expresses a wish, something we'd like to happen in the future. But real hope, hope that lifts us up and makes us happy, is that feeling that something very good is definitely going to happen in the future. That's real hope. And so I've got a question for you all. How hopeful are you? How sure are you that the future is bright, that the future is going to be very good? And so if a zero, if zero means you feel completely hopeless and you think the future is going to be rubbish and five means you don't feel hopeless, but then you don't, you don't feel very hopeful either. And if 10 means you feel your future is going to be fantastic, how hopeful do you feel about life? Are you a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or a ten? You might like to pause the video here and think about how hopeful you are. So how about you, uh, Pee Wee? H how sure are you that the future is going to be very good? Uh, I think I'm a six. The last two years have been rubbish. So it's hard to imagine life being much better in the future. Dad, people are always talking about climate change and global warming and wars and terrorism and sickness. So it's hard to feel positive about the future with all that bad stuff going on. Yeah, I get that. Lots of young people like you feel pretty hopeless. But despite how we feel, the fact is there is always hope. Uh, for a start, God has given us the ability to do something about many of the problems we face in life. So although there are viruses, there are also some very clever people making vaccines and brilliant medicines. And although there are bad people in the world, there are also lots of very kind and strong people out there looking after us. And although global warming is a worry, there are things we can do about that too. And so if you feel like you are losing hope or you, have, you feel like you have lost hope, please talk to someone you trust. Maybe uh, one of your parents or a relative, maybe an adult in your school. You know, no one will mind listening to you and they may be able to help you. Uh, what about you, Matt? How hopeful are you? Oh, well, that, that's a great question, Pee-wee. You know, when I look ahead, I, I know there are going to be some ups and some, 
some downs. There are going to be uh, some good times and there are going to be some bad times. But I think, at the end of the day, I think I'm maybe, uh, maybe I'm, I'm a nine, uh, maybe I'm a ten, or maybe even, maybe even an, an, uh, eleven. Eleven? Well, Matt, what makes you so hopeful? Jesus does. Jesus gives me massive hope for the future because he will make sure that everything works out really well for everyone who believes in him. But how can you be so sure? I'm sure because there are people who saw and heard Jesus for themselves and people who spoke to eyewitnesses and uh, they wrote down in the Bible some of the amazing things Jesus did. Jesus did things that no one else can do, things that prove he must be God. For example, one day he raised a dead girl back to life. On another occasion, he fed over 5,000 people with just five small loaves of bread. It was amazing. Five small loaves of bread, two small fish, and he fed all those people. He healed people who were deaf and blind and uh, the paralyzed. Jesus did so many amazing things. And then, to top it all off, as if that wasn't enough, he rose back to life after people killed him on the cross. And he is still alive today in heaven. That's why I'm hopeful. Because if Jesus can do all of that stuff, then he must be God. And surely we can trust him to look after us. Now let me tell you a true story in the Bible about one of Jesus' miracles. It's called Jesus Calms the Storm. That evening, Jesus said to his disciples, let's cross to the east side. So they left the crowd and his disciples started across the lake with him in, in the boat. Some other boats followed along. Suddenly, a windstorm struck the lake. Waves started splashing into the boat and it was about to sink. Jesus was in the back of the boat with his head on a pillow and he was asleep. His disciples woke him and said, Teacher, don't you care that we're about to drown? Jesus got up and ordered the wind and the waves to be quiet. The wind stopped and everything was calm. Jesus asked his disciples, Why were you afraid? Don't you have any faith? Now they were more afraid than ever and said to each other, Who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. The end. Whoa, we! What a story! That's amazing! It is amazing. It's a fantastic story, isn't it, Pee Wee? And Christians believe that it really happened because this story was written down by a guy called Mark and Mark was a friend of Peter and Peter was one of the men in that boat in the story. So Mark knows what he's talking about because his mate Peter saw the miracle for himself. There they were, all in a boat in the middle of a terrifying storm. Can you imagine? All the disciples thought they were going to drown. And then... With just a few powerful words, Jesus told the wind and the waves to be quiet and the storm stopped straight away. Only God has the power to do that. That's why Christians believe Jesus must be the all-powerful God who made the world. Because it shows us that Jesus has the power. He has incredible power and, and he can use that power to help us when life seems out of control. If Jesus has that kind of power, which he does, then we can trust him to look after us when life is good and when life is bad. And we can trust him with our future. You know, the Bible says that Jesus is going to come back one day and when he does, he'll make everything perfect. There will be no more suffering, sickness or death and, and definitely no more isolating in your bedroom. That's why I have great hope for the future, because Jesus has shown us that he is God 
and that he cares for us, and that he has the power to help us. So if you would like to know more about Jesus and have more hope in your life, why don't you come along to Simple's Church one Sunday at 10 a.m.? We would love to see you and your family. But I'm going to pray now and ask God to give us more hope for the future. Do you remember how I like to end my prayers? I like to end them with a great big, Amen. If you'd like to join in with this prayer, please bow your head and close your eyes. Dear God, thank you that we don't have to feel miserable and hopeless because there is always hope. Please help us to feel happy and positive about the future, even when life is hard. Because there are so many reasons to feel hope, not least because Jesus has the power to help us now and in the future. Are you ready? Amen! Fantastic! Thank you all so much for watching. We will see you next time. Goodbye, everybody. Bye! Uh, goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Bye. Okay, we're going to sing Our God is a Great Big God. Join in the actions if you want to. He's white and